the Tini Gardens today. I got uh, two jocks of Nentilis, uh for the uh, Emerald Green Arbor Ver Ar Arbor Vitae. It's the Emerald Green variety, not the species variety. Um, I have three of them, and I'm going to be wiring them today. Um, is this one of the smaller ones? I also probably will do a little bit of printing as well as I wire them. Got my uh, wire cutters and uh, scissors just in case I need to cut anything. That's the only thing I I need. You don't necessarily need special bones like wire cutters, but you do need at least the Western style um, bones or bones I like wire cutters where they're just the tip like this. But there are some Western wire cutters that you can buy that are the same design, but they're longer uh, than all focused at a very short tip and rounded. They're also very sharpened. Um, they will work, especially for something like this, which doesn't need very thick wire. Um, so that is an, a cheaper option if you need something for wiring and you can't afford, it, say, a, a really good brand of uh, wire cutters like this. And you also need, I'm also gonna use these scissors. You can just as easily for something like this, use, um, at Lowe's and Home Depot, I know, or in Walmart, I think, they have scissors that are kind of like this, but they're like, they're more like gardening shears. They're kind of like kitchen shears, but they're pretty good. I, if for a beginner, I would recommend something like that. If you don't have a lot of money, they're like, mm, I, I believe they're under $10 for a pair. Um, I have not shopped for one of those in a long time because I have my own bonsai stuff. Though I do need to get some for my house plants, so there is that. Um, but yeah. I'm just going to wire these three trees and maybe print them a little bit as I wire them. believe this wire will be suitable. The smallest wire that I have for these stems. Or even not actually. Huh. It's not gonna be strong enough. Yes, yeah, so I would go from well basically how I would do it is I would see the bottommost branch that I need. It should probably be this one right here. There's also a branch here and here that I didn't realize I had. Um I think I left them because I couldn't decide or something or maybe I missed them. Not a lot of the branches in the area that I would use, honestly. Did I even print this? Or did they grow? Print that off. Print that off. Yeah, um... Oh, let's make this into an immediate bonsai. Um, which I might. Or, well, that's the plan. I think I'm gonna print off this, uh, twin trunk that it has. Or at least get it- or at least get it out of the way with a little, with something to just hold it in place. A pin, small little pin. Just like that, just to get it out of the way and hold it out of the way. Put it in the soil. Just pin it down, that's all.
just to keep it out of the way. Cool. It didn't work effectively as I thought it would. Just pin it over here then. I'm trying to pin it out of the way so it stays further down. Should have done a longer wire then. Didn't realize the soil level was so, so low on that. There we go. That's just out of the way so I can focus on these lower branches and then wire that l later um, if I want to keep it. See, it'll be a waste of wire if I print it off. I definitely want to go ahead and print these lower, or wire these lower branches. Yeah, I'm going to remove this branch, this larger branch. It's very hardy, it's very woody, and it doesn't have any anything close to it. Um... Let me find, okay, so this is my smallest wire, so probably not that. This is my second smallest wire. And hmm. kind of works. Should work on the branches that I'm wiring at least. Then the length, time plus one third, about that much. Right? Actually. Hmm, a little bit less. Or yeah. About that much. I'm gonna wire this branch right here and this branch right here first and i'm probably going to put this branch where that one was or that would that one would be because i have a branch here this one would mean i'd have to have something about right here in this general area in in a different direction from from this one that can be wired so this one would be better Do a single twist around it just to keep it or keep it like that. Then I'm going to wire the, the higher up branch first. Just bring it around. Actually, I'm going to go from above. that inside this a little bit, try to get it a better around the main trunk. Yeah, I, print, I did it a little bit. Uh, long.
but I want to take it all the way out to the full length. Just out of personal reasons. I'm just going to wire this down about like that. Wire this down and wire this a little bit. Twist it a little bit. Wire it down about like that. Probably twist this as well. Just so that these are flattened out. Turn this back about right there. I'm gonna print off this branch because I don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna print, I'm gonna wire. Should, probably should have kept that now that I think about it. Wire maybe this one. Actually, no, I'll probably wire this, these two. The same gauge wire, roughly that long. Like that. About that long, I would say. I also like to give it a little extra length personally. That's just me, just to be sure that it's not too short. these branches that are just growing right there right there I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave this branch right here because I do want to keep it it's a little bit higher up than this branch and it's a little bit lower than this branch and it'll be really good to keep it's exactly actually exactly where I would want to keep it or put it hey exactly how long I'd want it right there I can make it work I'm just gonna actually no not do that I'm gonna print off places like this where it's completely useless to design it's too close to the trunk and I'm gonna tighten that a lot more so it's not loose actually probably was probably a good decision to do it like that because this is going to be a bit too short as well. It'll work though. Pull off that. Pull off these branches really close to the trunk. Not that one. I do want to keep it just in case I need it. I always go from above on the... Uh, like, uh, I forget his name. Uh, the guy in Portland. Uh, what's his bonsai channel? Uh, crap. Can't remember his... He's in Portland, or not Portland, but uh, Oregon, I think it is. Um, in the Northeast USA, and I can't remember his name or his bonsai channel. He doesn't do YouTube, he mostly does subscription. Um, I can't remember, but uh, I forget the exact video, but it's one of his videos about wiring, where he mentions about acute angles versus... Um, obtuse angles and how to wire best for them so for this um, considering this is right here I'm gonna put probably try to get this in this area so I'm gonna put this as a back branch or more to this side especially so I can give that more sunlight to grow and then this would be the next branch about more like right here 
not quite in the same direction. This one probably goes straight out. And I'm gonna prune this little stem right here just to give this a little bit more light. And this will go right there. Next, I'll wire this branch and this branch. Um, where's the wire? There it is. And just, yeah, these have been working really good. This branch and this branch. Got that like that. And then, notice a really easy way to check the length. Hit it. That right there. And then just measure it like that and add about one third. I'm gonna add a little extra because that one was a little bit short. Uh, and then I also have to add in the, uh, so I'm also gonna wire this and this too. I did not measure those. So I'm gonna wire, left, leave it a little bit longer. Just make sure that since I didn't measure those. about like that bring this up like this actually no I'm going to take it from the bottom this time Top's gonna be better, I think, actually. Especially now since I've bent the wire a little bit. Get it close to the trunk, then do the 45 degree angles. Remember that being a lesson I learned. So don't forget the exact specifics. Do it like that. Bring this down to about right there. Probably should have wired all these before I bent them down. Maybe. Let's do it around the branches, or not around the branches, but uh, between the branches. I'm just gonna. This pin keeps getting loose. And yeah, I think this would make a nice twin trunk if I just put it right over, we're about right here and let it grow up, at least as a sacrifice branch. In fact, what I'm gonna do now is before I even bend these, I'm gonna bend this over here. Um, probably not that. One's bigger. Just test it. Take about an inch of length. About like that. Bend it down. Yeah, that seems to work. Plus, I'm not bending it a whole lot, so it should work. No. I'm going to use to test this. See how, at least see how bend it, bendable it is. Yeah, I want to use this. So I want to get it low, close to the trunk that I want to bend it. I'm not going to wire a lot of this with this. I'm just going to get the lower trunk about to right there. Hmm, about that much. Didn't measure it, but uh, this should be enough. Stick it down in the soil. About like that. Get out the, the, the pine straw. I'm just 
gonna put these up a little bit. This one, there we go, perfect. That, just removing the inner growth that are in the way that I don't want because they're too small and they're kind of just really close to the twin trunk. I'm just going to move this straighten it out about like that just straighten it out I'm just going to leave it at this length I, well, no, I'm going to do it a little bit shorter right there. Oop, crap. Just pulled off the branch. Oop, scissors, or cutters. Cut it. There. Bring it over here, straighten it out. And I bend it like that. There we go. Now I'm going to wire these lower branches on this. Uh, it's this one. This one is smaller than that other one. Check on the bending this. Wire this one and this one. Yeah, about that much length. wiring this branch I'm just going to turn this 
Make sure it's straight. About like that. I'm also going to turn it back a little bit. Oh. Right here. That needs to be shorter. Fire this down. Actually, I'm going to move this. Better ain't. Oh, I gotta move that anyways. Over there. Yeah, that was a bad bend. Got bad wiring on that trunk. This one back here will go right there. Yeah, kind of a back branch. Print this really long shoot. Back to right there. So now I'm gonna print it off because I already have a branch here. This one. And this one, I'm sure we know. Turn that off too because it's too close. Try to keep this better. This would be more like that. This would be more like that. It'd go it'd go out outwards. Like in that general direction. I should wire this as well. I'm gonna wire these. Print this back hard. This back hard. Bring this. Welcome back to Cena Gardens. I actually did. I had an alarm earlier, and I didn't realize that it stopped recording. But here's the finished tree for the most part. Um, I wired this and uh, made a loop rather than a guide wire just to pull this over here. And you missed it, but um, as you can see, it's a very, it's a pretty good uh, form upright style for a small one gallon uh, through Joxidentalism. I'm gonna print these a bit hard just to get, get them back where I want them to go or be. I just found a stem that's uh, very nice actually. It's uh, got a lot of movement. I'm gonna plant this up. I don't know where it came from. When I plant it up, I just found it in, a, in a, one of my pots down there. It's very beautiful. I'm just gonna prune these down here. I think it's one of the ones I tossed a, long, a while ago. As you can see, it has really good movement right there. I put it in with the rest. Um, see if I can find the pot. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna show you the pot, the rest that I have. I didn't in the last video, and I didn't have a picture. This is just a bonsai pot. I put them all in here just to help them root. Have a nice one with movement in it. I got that fine comb, but it's just a bunch of cuttings. 
Some of them are starting to die back, but some of them are doing pretty good. Anyway, so long. This is uh, an episode from Scenic Gardens. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, got some more cuttings here, but uh, see you next time. Peace out.